Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm looking at Tyburn Nook today. It's a brand new mod by Tyburn Ketch. Sounds like a highwayman name if ever I heard one. We're here in solitude. Um, as soon as you log in you get a little note from a courier. Mine went straight into my inventory and you have to come and find the place. It's for singletons only, no kids, no followers. And it is right here. <laughs> so, being a big fat cat that I am with my uh, big shoulder pads, it's a bit of a squeeze. Oh, but totally worth it. This home is beautiful. The structure of it reminds me of a laboratorium by Connie. That is similar style, very beautiful. And this has lots of nifty features. You can turn on all of these lanterns and uh, you can put your masks up there. There's named storage for everything. Fire's light. There's a portal there. That took me to Dawnstar Sanctuary when I tested it out. There's a safe hiding behind this. Oh, click, click, click. You know I'm in heaven. Look at these. How cool are they? Love. In fact, this whole area is stunning. And this is extremely cool. It took me an embarrassingly long time to work out how to change the station. <laughs> there it is. Nifty. There's also a little note here, by the way, from the... Well, it's from Astrid. Uh, just telling you that um, don't mess with that too much. Don't, you know, spam it. Don't break it. And here there's a little stable entrance, so you can just, you know, like a secret tunnel -y type thing. Really nice forge area. Look at this. It's super high class. What an assassin's home. I have never done an assassin playthrough, but it's kind of making me want to. Wow. The whole room is breathtaking. And there's more. I mean, the mod description says it's a tiny house. It's not actually that tiny, I don't think. I think it's brilliant. The only thing I would have liked is my bedroom separate from my kitchen, but that's just me. This is a bolt hole, after all. This is the fast travel system, and there's a little note about that too. The mod author has thought of everything. <laughs> There's a little button here to change the map system if you want to. I'll just refer you to the mod page for that. More lanterns, a dining area. You can turn your oven on. It becomes an oven and a cooking pot. Cute. Really beautiful. Look at this. See, I've got fish and my bed. <laughs> it's not a winning combination, is it? I am fussy bugger. Oh, I've run out of firewood. Oh, man. Anything in there? Nope. Oh, well. But you get it. How beautiful. And this, I guess, just storing all your clothes and ammo, armor. It's such a cute closet, don't you think? Small but beautifully formed, this place. And then next to that, a little wardrobe area. Slidey doors. So nice. All right, and a gorgeous comfy bed. I feel this is a very lush and luxe apartment. Oh, I don't know what my favourite part is the bookshelves are brilliantly done what do you think let's just nip to the stables there are a few other files that you can download as well if you get clipping okay so here we are oh wow okay this is very cool check it out that's my stable look oh yeah okay so it's a little bit a little bit clippy but not much i mean wow that's awesome. Oh my god, this mod's thought of everything. For such a small home, it's got so many amenities. I'm quite enchanted by it. I'd love to know what you think down in the comments. 
So even though I don't play as an assassin, I'm going to keep this home anyway because it's truly lovely. By the way, lighting wise, how about that? You can barely see that button. I nearly missed it. So you can change your lighting as it suits you. All right, well, I'm going to leave you with this view. Call that the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments and I'll see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.